What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. We are on some MX Simulator. And as always, it's been a little bit of time in between my last sim video. And the reason being is, what always seems to happen, is I grind out a bunch of MX bikes. And then if we have a week where maybe track uploads have been a little bit slow or just topics to cover in general, we'll hop on sim, see what's going on over on that side of things in that community, and we'll have a little bit of a, a rip around. Now, in terms of tracks on sim, there's not much that's really been catching my eye recently. I know that Stalkham released a new uh, Don't Fall or... Sky, Sky Madness, sorry, Don't Fall. Don't Fall is uh, Chucky Nigrin's kind of series of tracks. That's uh, Sky Madness. And I actually, I've gave, I've given it a go and I can't do it. <laughs> it's a massive skill issue. So I'm going to keep going back to it every now and then and see if I can eventually get a video out on it. Um, so, Sorkin, if you are watching this, I do apologise. The track is a little bit outside my um, area of skill at the moment. So what we're doing instead is we are playing a track that I've had in my files for a very, very long time. And it's a track that I played way, way back when it released as well. And that is Block Pound 2017. Released back in 2017, as the, the name would suggest. This was made by Mr. Chris Riesenberg, aka Checkers, who is a man that over the years made my nights very very enjoyable again please don't take that out of context uh, hours and hours and hours i'd spend on uh, on checkers his tracks same as majority of people in this game he is probably like, one of the biggest ogs in terms of track rating there is on the entire sim i don't know if he's is still about in the community in much capacity at all um he used to i mean i know that he helped contribute towards the JS7 compound on MXOS to be Alive way, way back in the day. So uh, a man of a lot of experience. So we're playing this track made by him today, one of the hundreds that he made from X Simulator. And I think this might be a little bit more difficult than I first anticipated because usually I'll play this track on a 450. However, I feel like recently all I've been doing is anytime I hop on Sim, I'll hop on the 450 and I feel like it makes the tracks a little bit easy mode sometimes. So we're hopping on the 250 today. So not only am I going to have to try and carry some sort of corner speed to go over a bunch of these jumps, I also have to be wary of the engine braking as well. Because for those of you that didn't know in Sim, the engine braking on the 250s can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming. It makes it very, very easy to tuck the front end. Um, but oddly enough, this is a bike that I used to live and, and breathe by. You know, I used to love the 250s back in the day. I was two-time uh, European 250 Supercross champion. Uh, never won anything on the 450s at all. They just weren't my forte. And I think as I played the game less and less and uh, the muscle memory has kind of died off, I've just found the 450 is much easier to use from like a casual point of view. So we're trying the 250 again today. We're on, um, whilst this is a Jet Lawrence replica setup that I've got here, which I will link down in the description for you it's part of like a massive uh pro pack it's got like tomac volan sexton webb uh shimoda anybody you can think of that's right up there it's got like the suzuki boys as well uh, full replica pack so i'll link that down below if you have a go on as well as the track and yeah even though it says run honda i am actually on the ktm 250 dyno which i think nowadays is the main 250 that's used the 2018 one i think it's the fastest and uh, sim sim doesn't really work the same way as mx bikes does for any of you that aren't avid sim goers you're more on the mx bike side of things uh, sim has all the different bike bikes in the game you know it's got the honda ktm cowie whatever it may be however you can put whatever model you want on each one so let's say you really right really really like the feeling of the yamaha for example it just feels really comfortable for you to play on um, but maybe you don't necessarily want to ride the Yamaha bike model. You can just put a Honda in there or put a KTM in there. So I, I do like that aspect of Sim, but what you do find is the majority of the time everyone just runs the same dyno anyway, because everyone works out what the fastest bike is and then everyone just runs it. Um, so there's, there's, there's pros and cons to the way Sim does it. There's pros and cons to the way that bikes does it as well. Um, I think I still kind of prefer Sims because you get a bit more variation of colour, especially when you download all of the, the team skins and everything like that for the year of motocross or supercross. Not like bikes right now, where if you look at the 250 class, it's a sea of red. If you look at the 450 class, it's a sea of blue. There's a little bit more diversity, which I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing my, making its way over to bikes. Um, but this track, so there's, there's a few sand sections around here, which 
a 250 does definitely struggle on. It's a very, very flowy track, and I'm not sure how long it took Checkers to make this thing overall. There's four tracks in total. We've got the MX track, which I'm riding on right now. We have got a straight rhythm track, which is now just behind me. I'm not sure if you saw that as I was going around the corner. On the right of me, there is one supercross track, and then way over in the distance in the hills, behind them trees, uh, there is another one. So we've got one motocross, two supercross, and one straight rhythm, and I'm going to do a couple laps of all of those. Uh, I'm going to finish this lap off first of all on the motocross and then we're gonna dip over to some soupy now i do want to preface saying i have played every single one of these tracks i played them all for probably about 10 minutes each last night as well and then obviously i played them way way back in the day also and i can't really find any faults on any of them um the some of the rhythm sections especially on supercross I wouldn't say unique in terms of like the, the types of jumps and things there are, but there's always multiple viable options. That was the same with the motocross track as well, to be honest. There's, there's multiple viable lines around this track in every single corner that you go into, which I think you can only really get as an experienced track creator. That just comes with time and knowing how people are going to ride your tracks and how they feel overall, but it's really, really, really good fun. Uh, I'm trying to work out where on earth the finish line is because... I've got a 156 here, which I think is the same time. There it is, 155. I don't think that's a terrible lap by any means. I'm sure there's probably uh, some avid sim fans that can probably lap under 1 minute 50, no problem whatsoever. Uh, so you've got an idea of the main motocross track there. Let's go up into the hills and we'll do a bit of supercross. And there's some very, very interesting lines, although I think I might struggle on the 250 a bit. Uh, some of the big boy lines are on the 450, so maybe I'll do a quick switch up and hop on the 450 and do a completely different replica for you to see as well. Switching up from being Mr. Lawrence, we are now old Kenneth Roxon. And this uh, hill track, it, there's a little bit up in hills up there ahead of me, and then there's a little bit down here on the flat terrain, so almost uh, a hybrid track in some regards. And like I was saying earlier, in terms of mixing models onto different dinos, I'm on the 2017, I think, Husky 450 at the moment, and we're rocking a Suzuki, which I, I just love it. And th this pack overall, really, really good and impressive. Like, it's a very well well made pack and I get up this damn hill that was the one jump I was thinking of when I thought about switching from the 250 to the 4 and every single time I hit I forget how big it is and I need to just hit it with a little bit more speed uh, but you'll see so coming down this hill here uh, we have an outside line and an inside line and it all ends up being like a different split lane so you can so step on step off and step all the way up and over this and it sets you up really nicely for an inside rut here which I mean I suppose this whole thing is a split section because the inside rut in the right-hander leads you into stepping over the tabletops, whereas if you go around the outside in the corner, it gets you on top of them. So I feel like it's a bit of give and take. You work out which line is the fastest one for you. Let's try and get a little bit of speed going here. There's another tiny split at the bottom of this. If we go around the outside, we can triple up. And then I think if you stretch it out, up and over, and then step on step off round to the right a little step down and then here you can either step onto this table over or you can step over it and double into the turn i love sections like this you, not, they're not wheel taps as such but you know when you kind of just you don't jump the single you kind of soak it up and then bounce off the second jump and jump all the way out you can't do stuff like that in mx bikes just with how the suspension slash acceleration slash grip slash preloading works it kind of all combines through into one you can get some huge lines going in these rhythm sections and quads well i don't think i've been in this rhythm before though and then triple into the corner lovely right let's try and hit this bloody uphill triple this time so we can get some speed going through the whoops i'm going to check up a little bit over this so i can downside it and ya yeet up and over no problem even though oj did a little bit and we go double in triple to the inside now i'm gonna try this left hand side at the bottom of this hill this time it's a little bit tricky to get into oh i've jumped completely the wrong way so what you meant to be able to do is step onto here and then step off into this outside rail around the outside here and then it sets you up for going on off these tables which i think is a lot faster than jumping them oh my christ i'm not surviving this am i surely oh no the suspension is not good enough and if we cut down in this corner we can go double in step on oh actually almost stepped over so i guess you could go triple and jump all the way into the turn that could be quite a quite a big boy line and then also in here i'll show you, you can step over the table 
Oh, no, we can't. I broke rule number one of sim, and that is touching your front brake in the air. Do not do that. You end up in a complete dead sailor. You can't adjust your bike at all, and very easy for the, uh, the whole front end to lock up upon landing. So learn from my mistakes. Do not do that. Go grease that triple. Downsided it very well. Let's get a little bit of drift action going on on the straight. Why not? And hook up and over. So you see why? When I was mentioning at the start about easy mode on the 450s, I feel like you can be going so slow and then just bang, basically shift up the gearbox a crap load of times, seat bounce, and you can get over such big jumps from almost, almost a standstill. And I, I do wish MX bikes had some proper seat bouncing mechanics at some point. As a lot of it in bikes is momentum based, you don't really get much out of like moving your body in the way that would represent a seat bounce. You kind of just end up stretching things out without compressing the rear suspension at all. But you can see just from these first two tracks I've showed you, I'm going to try this inside again, see if I can get it better this time. The track's flow is incredible. I keep, <laughs> keep jumping over to the right. Can I still hit? <gasps> oh, no, didn't get it. Screw it. Let's transfer down to the inside here. Lovely. We're taking all the unorthodox lines. Definitely not meant to be doing any of these rhythms or whatsoever. Oh, I hate bouncing through sections on this game. I feel so slow up and over this bad boy. And then we'll go back to the outside down here again. It felt... It was just nat more natural, a lot smoother. If I just step over here a little bit and we go triple, lovely, double to the inside again, get this step down. Can I step over this time? There we go, didn't touch the front brake at all, nice and smooth. And then we soak up this one, double off that, backflip. No! Oh, I almost nailed it. And would you believe it, with the magic power of editing, I've somehow arisen from that crash. Transferred teams, transferred tracks, and we're now on the second Supercross track, which is called Stadium SX. And we're rocking the big Eli Big Mac and his red plate Yamaha. We step onto this. Lovely. I'm still on the 450. Um, I I basically, the outdoors on the 250 was enough to tell me that I need the power of the big bike for now until I get a little bit of muscle memory going again in this game. I will say that I still absolutely suck cheeks in the whoops. I'm not sure what is. Um, my technique is probably all wrong. Suspension's probably awful. You can see, like, 450s, oh, I'm not going to make that. I, I felt good going up to the face of that, but um, when I took off, not so much. But you see how slow the speed I hit that triple in on. And that's why I just feel like 450s in this game can be super OP. I'm not going to attempt hitting that triple from basically nothing. Go around to the right. Where does... I can't remember where this goes now. We've got a nice inside rut here. Can we blitz this? Kind of. We go double... Step up. Oh, you got to be able to triple into there, surely. Uh, yes, made it. Is this a double or a triple? It's a double. Oh, getting a little bit steezy. Inside roller. Love the ruts on the Supercross track. I feel like that's something that not enough people do in general, is just throw a little bit of a groove on the inside on the super tracks. Because, I mean, a lot of the time, I mean, look at Cooper Webb, for example. Like You can you can find a very tight inside rut and still be able to hit, hit lines. We do here, double in. Oh, I reckon you went to step over that and then go triple, step on, step off, maybe? A very long rhythm. Quite a quite a difficult one as well, actually. Up and over the wall, no funky physics like we get in bikes when we hit really steep surfaces. And can we get another backflip on the go here? Uh, rotate! No! I always, always get this part of me every time that I play Sim. That just, just that tiny bit in the back of my head going, grind the game, get good at it again sign up for races and then I play the game for about an hour get super frustrated that I'm nowhere near what I used to be and don't touch it again for another couple of weeks to <laughs> oh my god so it's always a bit of a tough one trying to just in enjoy this game for what it is rather than taking it way too seriously I, I mean I watched the occasional bit of sim racing um I watched like a heat of <laughs> the round one supercross this year and haven't watched anything else other than that but if any videos come up of like hit people's povs of them racing uh, i know payson's come up now and then luke sullivan's come up as well that i'll just dabble in and watch it for a bit majority of the time they tend to have some very annoying specimens in the discord call with them so i can't really have volume on too loud but the riding itself i i always enjoy watching people that are better than me i think i've mentioned this on other games before it, it relates to any game not just sim or motocross stuff related i always enjoy watching good people to see where i can try and improve to even going down to weird things like csgo for example when CS, csgo 2 coming out not not too long i don't think so 
might dabble in that a little bit. That's never going to see the channel. I am absolutely horrendous at FPS games. Uh, I'll keep it... Oh god, I'll keep things on two wheels on this side of things, unless maybe it's the odd live stream here and there, as we've been dabbling in Minecraft a little bit, which I quite enjoy. And I think... Oh no, that would have been yesterday. Um, I'm trying to think when this video goes up, because I was trying to pre-record a little bit to get ahead of the game. Uh, I think I'm... So I'm recording this Saturday. I think it's going up Monday, so I might have already done it. I think I'm doing my 50k... Uh, or 50,000 subscriber special stream on Sunday, so yesterday, depending on when you're watching this, um, which I might be dabbling in a couple of games here and there on that as well, depends how it goes. I, I plan on sticking to MX Bikes public lobbies overall, but we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, when you get in a couple of hours deep, maybe Bikes isn't doing it for you anymore, you don't mind switching things up. I love seat bouncing out of tight corners on this game, I don't know what it is. I've tried going for that quad again. I. Don't know how my suspension's taken that fair bloody play. We're going to finish this lap off. And then I'm going to try and do some straight rhythm. I don't really plan on it going too well. I've never been much of a, a straight rhythm rider at all. I'm pretty, pretty meh, pretty average on it. Um, but I'll certainly, certainly give it my best. This is another triple. Get a little bit steezy. And it still does perplex me when I play this game. Because I hop from bikes to sim quite often now. It, it just always surprises me that there is no real rider leaning, it's just forwards and back. I have no idea how JV's managed to get the whip physics to look and feel that good without having actually much rider movement or input at all. Just yeah, just one of them weird things. So let's that, that's, that's try straight rhythm. If I crash too much, I apologise. It is a skill issue. Let's get into it. And here we go, right, straight rhythm time. This is either going to go very well. Or very horrendously. That's, uh, let me just do a nice safe line for run number one. Step over. That looks tripleable, which it is. Not going to send this wall jump. We're going to just roll it. I triple that. Yes. Step on. Get hung up. Oh my Christ. I was, I'm actually quite proud of myself on that save. That was actually intentional. And then we'll step over. Oh my God. I feel like they're meant to be whoops, but they just turn into rollers. I mean, Run number one, we've made it through, love that. Run number two, I'm not waiting for the gate to drop, we're just going to go on, off, over, triple, oh we jump way too far, I feel like you could quad over this wall here, like just send the soupy triple and make it all the way, downside, send that, on, on, off, let's try treating these as whoops a little bit, no chance, so if I wait for this gate to drop, rather than me just bombing it, like get trying to get up and over it. Might be able to get a bit more speed and see if I can step all the way over this first tabletop and see what rhythm it ends up in. Oh, I'm an idiot. Go, 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 go. <gasps> right, step over. Oh, and then it's literally just not off anyway. Right, can I send this and downside this wall? Oh, no. I've just not got the facilities for that. Nowhere near enough speed. Just pretend that this start gate isn't here. Do, 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 do. Go on, off, over. Turn this into a triple. I could try sending this wall and try quadding it down to here. But this is a long way to fall. Oh, what? How does my suspension work when I feel like it just shouldn't? And then other times I get a, a legs off when I feel like I should have been okay. Oh my Christ. Front flip. No, didn't survive. Yeah, I, I think you get the gist of it. You know, I'm... I'm <laughs> Straight room's one of them things. It takes so many attempts to get like a good solid run going down you've got to be perfect absolutely everywhere um but overall this the compound is great you know uh, thank you to checkers again i know it's like six years overdue the track did release six years ago but uh, six years and two-ish months ago uh, either way you should definitely check it out because it's it is one of my favorite places to ride around on this game especially in my free time again how have i survived that uh, but that'll do it for me i hope you have enjoyed the video uh something a bit different from the usual mx bikes which i hope you don't mind and if you did enjoy please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new i would greatly appreciate it have a lovely rest of the day whatever you're up to and i'll catch you in tomorrow's video peace